Hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a 200k squad builder which I use in division 1 as my main team. So yeah I'll jump you straight into the video. In goal I have got Kayla Navas as you can see here. Really good goalkeeper, um, you know he makes a lot of good saves. Uh, I think he's got the acrobatic save technique, yeah. He's 6 foot 1 as well so he's going to be uh, you know, coming out and claiming a lot of corners and all that stuff. Um, really good solid goalkeeper in my opinion. And they're probably one of the best actually in the Liga BBVA. Moving on to my centre backs, I have got Chiellini and Sergio Ramos, two of the best uh, centre backs in Ultimate Team, in my opinion. As you can see, they're both really highly rated, 87. Um, as for their stats, you probably know them already because they're such big players, you know. Um, 79 pace on Ramos, 87 defending, and 81 physical. This guy's an absolute beast at the back. Um, you know, he'll get in front of he'll get in front of players. Uh, make tackles basically he'll do everything that you'd want your center back to do and in shadow as well you know he's really quick um, and can catch up with strikers even if they're through on goal um, very similar to this guy um, he's also very fast as you can see I think his defending and physical stats are even better than Ramos's um, so again this guy's really solid he's also got a low high work rate um, so he's just going to be sitting at the back like an absolute rock this guy really good player in my opinion and also he only costs 12,000 coins, so um, you know, he's an absolute bargain, that that player. Um, moving on to right back, probably the best right back in the Serie A, Nick Steiner we go with. You've probably used him before because he's so cheap, I think he's like 950 coins. Really solid right back. And then I've got Marcelo at left back as well. Another really good player, he's quick, you know, he's good at defending, he's strong. He's basically got everything that you'd want from a left back, similar to Nick Steiner at right back. Then moving on to centre midfield, uh, as my right centre mid I go with Big Lear as you can see here, his inform card, he only cost me like uh, 17,500 coins so he's really cheap um, and he's just a really solid player in centre midfield to be honest, you know, he makes tackles and then um, he'll, often, he'll often pick out a really good pass. Um, yeah, he's got that medium high work rate as well so he'll just be sitting in front of the back four. Um, as for my centre midfielder I go with Marquisio. Uh, really good player. I tend to give this player more freedom to go forward um, just so that he can join in with attacks. You know, he's got really good passing, really good all round stats. He's pretty quick as well, this guy. Um, and yeah, just probably one of my favourite centre midfielders in the game, actually. Um, as well as this guy, Modric. Oh, my bad. There we go. Uh, Modric. Uh, if you haven't used this guy on FIFA 16, he's probably one of the best centre midfielders. Um, he just feels really overpowered, sort of like in all areas, even his tackling, his strength. Um, he's only got 71 defending, but he feels like he should have like, I don't know, maybe even in his 80s his defending just because of how well he can nick the ball off players and um, obviously his passing is really good as well, 84. And he's just a great all-round midfielder in my opinion. So yeah, these are the centre midfielders, uh, really solid. Um, they'll concede very few goals and they also like to get forward as well, you know, supply the strikers. Uh, really good midfielders in my opinion. And then moving on to Cam, we have got Pereira. One of my favourite players in the game. Um, he's only 81 rated, but as you can see here from his stats here, 85 pace, 85 dribbling, 81 passing, 75 physical, 71 shooting. Really good player. High high work rates as well. Um, so he will come back a bit at times, um, but in a way that's sort of useful. It just sort of it's, it's another player to have in midfield um, to make tackles and you know break up play. But most of the time he spends it, he, most of the time he's like up the other end of the pitch uh, trying to get goals which is exactly where you'd want your centre attacking midfielder. He's also six foot, you know, so he's going to win headers, um, flick them onto the strikers. Um, yeah, really good centre attacking midfielder. I'm sure you've all used him before, probably. But then as for my strikers, the main players of the team, we have got Higuain as my left striker and Sergio Aguero as my right striker. This strike force is absolutely insane, guys. You know, these guys shooting up here. I mean, we've got Aguero here, you probably know it, but... Um, 88 shooting. His his shots are just insane on this on this game. He'll score so many long shots. Uh, his finishing is great as well. You know he's got that high medium work rate, so he's going to be making a load of runs. Um, four star weak foot, four star skill moves as well, and that's similar to Higuain. You know he's a really quick player. This uh, I think this is his third in form card. Um, I've got him in Hunter as well, so he's even faster than that. 
um, but his shots on this card is just insane. The amount of long shots this guy scores is crazy. If you haven't tried him before, definitely go and try and pick up his card. Only 64k, which is an absolute bargain for this guy. Uh, also got that high attacking work rate similar to Aguero, so he's going to be making a load of runs as well. Um, and four star weak foot as well, which is really useful. Which means he'll uh, he'll be able to put away goals with his left foot when going forward as well as his right, which is um, very good. So yeah, that's the team guys. I'll run you through the player instructions quickly. Um, but most of them I leave as uh, they are obviously my right back and left back I have as stay, by, stay back while attacking just to you know, make the defence a bit more solid um, so you're not getting caught on the break. Because um, I found that was a, a problem with my left you know, I'd have all the possession and, and just not be able to finish off goals and um, then they'd just catch me on the break and I'd somehow be losing games which is really hard. But then as for my centre midfielders, um, obviously Marquisio, as I said earlier, I give him a bit more freedom. I, ha freedom. I have him on um, balanced attack, as you can see here, and then my right centre mid and left centre mid, I have a stay back while attacking, um, just so that they sort of sit in front of the back four, you know, and just make it really solid. And then as my, for my centre attacking mid, everything on balanced here, um, and then my strikers, I have on stay central and balanced attack, just so that... Um, you know, they can get in behind or come short, doesn't really matter. Um, just that you're not forced into playing one style of play. Um, so yeah, that's the team guys. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like if you have and subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you in the next video.